Hey friends, it is currently November 23rd. We have begun, well, not really. I began the process of buying parts, but I haven't taken anything off yet. Uh, Mason's with me today, Mason say hi. Hi. <laughs> I bought a turbo kit already for a Zona, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm pulling the trigger on doing Zona. Well, I'm 100% sure I'm pulling the trigger on doing <laughs> Zona. I bought the Hull Tech Elite 1500, so I can do the drive-by-wire and get rid of this bullshit. See what's going on with it and why it was smoking so much. Maybe we can figure that out. Hopefully it's just a turbo, but we'll find out. Anyways, so we're gonna pull the turbo. I'm gonna pull this haul tech out. I'm gonna sell these parts and then uh yeah, we'll go from there. Alright guys, before we just like we literally just started and I was going to cut these and my banjo bolt on the way skate. This was like this. So this could have been like this when I was racing S4. together so someone can buy it over here come on inside she ain't got no shaft play smoky yours next oh jeez. <laughs> all right guys i just built the turbo guard off um look at all this oil mason put your finger in there <laughs> oh, <what> the <laughs> Oh my god, it's thick. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Freaking precision, bro. Anywho. Um, Mine doesn't do that. <laughs> so hopefully all that smoke really was just a turbo. It's got, like... Minimal. Minimal in and out shaft play, but side to side it has none. But that is a lot of caked oil, like... Like crazy we're pulling the old hot heck elite thousand out of there never opened this trunk before <laughs> got it got it anyways i'm gonna pull the old elite thousand out there i got an elite 1500 to do the drive by wire so once that's out um turbo kits here already have both new ecu and turbo kit on the way shortly, I just gotta buy a turbo still, so we'll see. Why'd you take the whole battery out? I don't know. <laughs> For this forward facing kit, the condenser obviously can't be there, so we're just gonna pull all of the AC out. I've never done this before, but it's I'm sure it's self-explanatory. So I'm gonna do that, get this AC out of here, and then um, I'll talk to you a little bit after that. Don't think I own this. guys after like an hour or so um it honestly wasn't bad at all like i said my first time doing it we got the ac out pulled the condenser because you know why it's gonna be a turbo here soon all the lines completely back gone all the old ac stuff here the fan the condenser the lines the compressor we just got to get a new belt for the shortened one since we took the ac compressor out along with the bracket there, which is also gone now. So, a lot more room here, and obviously nothing here anymore. And it's gonna open it up so we can have a turbo sticking out the grill. And another thing that we got, I actually almost forgot. This is, uh, I got this made for like 50 bucks. If you guys see this, this thing is in bad condition. Ripped, torn, zip tied all sorts of things we're gonna take this off i got a suede one made with blue stitching so i'm gonna put that on just a quick the little things I 
on me close to the 33. Reach for the chain, guaranteed it's a murder slave. All they hoes love me like Billy Jean. Bitch, that show reaching out for my nigga lane. Like, Dang, like, I better roll him in the black wrist. Three nigga, all these other nigga wanna be. Wanna be, wanna be. Alright. This already looks 10 times better. Like. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that we got this. It was literally 60 bucks or something like that. So that looks a million times better. What up guys, it's the next day. It honestly probably looks like the same day, but where we left off, no turbo kit. But when I was in here, um, I was checking something out and I noticed here, let me grab a flashlight. I noticed that cylinder two, valves were white, um, which you can see here. I already have done a compression test on this motor not too long ago. It was pretty much 150 across the board, so that checked out. But I'm gonna do a leak down test because um, if you guys don't know, usually the symptoms of valves looking like that um, is either one, it's somehow getting coolant in there and it's burning off, two, it's running lean, or three, you have bad valve seals and it's burning oil and consuming it and in my case as you guys saw uh, I'll throw a clip up this thing definitely burned and consumed oil um, now we don't know at least yet if it was just the turbo seals that were going really bad um, which I mean we're pretty sure that that was a, at least a part of it but we also have this. So I'm gonna do a leak down just to see if I'm gonna end up needing valve seals. If I do, then I guess the head's coming off. If I don't, well then all good. It seems that it could have just been the turbo. That's the easiest one I've ever had to take off in my life. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but that literally took me like 10 seconds to pull my front bumper. You see how easy that was? Jeez. So I'm just going to give you the basic rundown on how you do this. First things first, you want to pull all the plugs, which I have already done. Then what you want to do is make sure that whatever cylinder you're um, testing is at top dead center. What I want to do is I'm going to start with one. So I'm going to try to get one to top dead center here. And the way that you do that is I have a ghetto rig, but you have, I believe it's, like a seven eighths or something like that for me um you just put a ratchet on it and then this is my leverage here and you'll watch so it's actually going down um but you're not supposed to go counterclockwise you're only supposed to go clockwise now it's raising So then once you get to this point where you believe it's stopped dead center, then the next step is to hook up the leak down tester. It's basically like a compression tester here. Um, you just put that in the spark plug hole. You add air to here, turn the air pressure up, and see if you have any leakage. And also just in case anybody's wondering, you don't have to have your exhaust manifold or your turbo manifold off. Uh, I'm switching turbos if you're new here. So that's the only reason that's off right now. Figured I'd do a leak down test while we're here. All right, now that we got the leak down tester hooked up, I'm gonna turn up the pressure here. <clears throat> this gauge reads a little different. So this one, we're gonna bring the left side up to about 75 or so. Right there, about 75, and our right gauge is at uh, like 70 and a half. So with our little cheat sheet here, um, with our left gauge reading at 75, and our right gauge being at about 70 and a half, that's about 6% of percentage of leakage so not bad um, so that cylinder seems to check out and it hasn't moved so 
All right, let's try the next. And this is cylinder two, the one that I have questions about. We got cylinder two, top dead center. Turn up the pressure here. About 75 right there. Our number is about 69. Just a little under 69. Now we do our math here. 69, that's about 8% leakage on cylinder two. It's not bad, actually. So we might be in luck. Let's try the rest. All right, guys, I just started cylinder three, 75. This one's low. This one's at 61 and dropping. I mean, you can hear it. 61's not even on the thing, so it's probably like I would assume almost 20%. Well, um, hmm. All right, guys, we got cylinder four going on. <laughs> Even worse than three, so sleepers. Really hear it All right, well, what's the next step? So we have to pull the head. We were consuming like a quart every 500 miles or something. We were burning a lot of oil out the exhaust. We didn't know if it was just the turbo or if there was something else. Um, and in this case, it seems it was also something else. So um, a little combination of both, I think, was uh, why we were having so much smoke. We're going to pull the head, get it out to Ron. Ron's going to check it out, tear it down, maybe new valve seals, put some lifters in there. If we got to rebuild, we got to rebuild. Otherwise, we'll just refresh what we need to. But we're going to save that for another video. Then the next video, honestly, should be pulling the head, getting everything back together, getting all the drive-by-wire stuff, getting it tuned, and seeing what it does. But, um, you know, with building cars, you never know what can happen. There's a path untold every time with cars in general. Building cars, that's how it works. So this is going to be end of this video. We got some decent steps. We pulled the turbo kit. We pulled the AC. We got that shifter boot in, you know, just a bunch of little stuff. Um, it's the beginning of November or the end of November right now. Yeah, the end of November. So we have a few months still. Um, I just wanted to get a head start. So now that we got a head start, we're going to continue on this path. Hopefully stay on a steady pace. If we can stay on a steady pace, then this thing should be done in no time. But we'll find out. Also, if you guys have an idea, the turbo kit I bought is already coated. Um, it's like a bronze. And I'm trying to decide what color I'm going to do the turbo sticking out right here. So if you guys have an idea, if you made it this far in this video, let me know what color you think I should do the turbo. And since I'm pulling the head anyways, let me know if you think I should do the valve cover different, match the turbo. This is the end of this video. This is as far as we are right now. When you see us back, we're going to be pulling this head off and getting some more steps. So this is it for this one. The first episode of the goal to a 850 wheel horsepower Evo is what I'm going for. Peace out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Wait, hold on.